Pollinators. Boring. Well, maybe not. Take your typical picnic. Fact, one in three mouthfuls of food requires pollinators. So that picnic, yep, pretty much impossible without pollinators. Pollinators, not boring. Nature works because of pollinators. Pollinators are often the smaller critters that we forget. Whether it's an ant, a bee, even mosquitoes, a hummingbird, or a bat, they're so critical to our daily lives. Pollinators ensure much of our food and natural beauty by keeping plants alive and blooming. Ultimately, what we're talking about is how plants reproduce. Pollination is how a plant that is stuck here gets its pollen to some other plant of the same species. They don't survive unless they have someone or something to move their pollen, the male sex cells, to the female parts of another flower. Sometimes that something is just gravity or the wind. Plants like pine trees and grasses let go of their pollen, letting it land wherever, hoping to score. Plants with the pretty flowers grow those flowers. They've evolved them to attract pollinators. So flowers have to offer the pollinator something that the pollinator wants to get them in the flower to pollinate them. Pollinators get a meal, flowers get to reproduce. It's win-win for all, including us. So what can we do to keep our menus at restaurants and options at the grocery store as varied as possible? The most important thing that people can do is use fewer pesticides. Pesticides kill insects fairly indiscriminately. So in your yard, in your pots on your balcony, see if you can get your school and the parks around you to use less pesticides. The next thing would be make a pollinator garden with an eight by 10 foot plot or even six pots on a balcony. You can provide significant habitat to protect and conserve those species in your own yard. Here in Colorado's Yampa Valley, these young scientists at Carpenter Ranch are doing just that, building a pollinator garden on land once cleared for livestock and lawn. And at lunch, a challenge to show firsthand how important pollinators are. You can eat anything on this table that hasn't needed a pollinator to produce it. That fruit requires a pollinator. So that plate of fruit, out of here. But what about those potato chips? Can't you eat those? Nope, the oil used to cook them, powered by pollinators. So what about the lemonade? You heard the lady about fruit. What about those almonds? Out. Lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, watermelon, mustard, turkey and roast beef, cheese, out. So what did we leave you? Bread. <laughs> bread and water. Some lunch, bread and water. Not only do they bring us food and other wildlife food, they literally stitch together our landscapes by keeping those species able to reproduce and live. Nature without pollinators would be an incredibly different place. And a very different tasting place, too. Nature works hard, and that's why we must work hard for nature. Good job, pollinators. <laughs> Pretty good, man. <laughs>